Yeah, I had to restart real quick. <clears throat> it was just something was wrong with my other OBS. Like, there were two different versions. I just had to fix it, like, really, really quick. I think that's what was fucking it up. What's going on, everybody? Sorry about that. I'll give it a minute. <clears throat> I'll give it a minute before we go in. To the world. There's apparently a Halloween update coming out. It should be back online. Is it not back online yet? Yeah, just refresh real quick. stupid if it didn't auto hook people back on. Well, hopefully people realize soon what the hell's going on. This is weird. I've never seen this temporarily disabled. Saving and loading is disabled due to a rework and will be back after the Halloween update. Huh. Not that I'd never use that. I never use that. Bow, 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 bow. You know what? Ah, oh, fuck. You can't go back now after you got this screen. I need to get some achievements. I don't know what they are, though. I don't know what they are. Ooh, look at this seed. I'm going with that. Sheik. Shki? Shki. Yeah, this game is great. I love this game. Something strange is happening in our town. The rapid technological advancement of the modern era brings comfort, but also on new threats. What? Did I just read that word completely wrong? Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city. And it rubs beyond. Yeah, my brain is just like mush the past few days, dude. Not good. Sometimes when I'm like that, I just like don't stream because I'm like, I don't even feel like fucking talking right now. Ugh. Like just like making up words and stuff. But I feel a little bit better today. You know, I still have never gotten through with her. With just the shotgun. It seems like such a, like a death sentence though. She like dies so quick. Also, Sampio. I don't think I'm saying your name right, but thank you for that reset, for that Twitch Prime. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I think they added like a priest or something. Someone was saying. Bad robot. Yeah, I don't really like playing with her. It was kind of fun playing against yeah. her the other day. The witch. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Let's be a witch. I'm gonna play on hard. Fuck it. I'm gonna go with Hunted by the Cult, too. That might kind of even it out a little. Oh, really? Does it say that now? If you do, like, the longer 
subscription, I didn't know that. Somewhere, a group of people gathers, trying to awaken their masters. It showed us offline. Damn it. Maybe I shouldn't have even restarted the fucking stream then. Probably a bunch of people like, what happened? I fucking hate OBS sometimes. Let's go with uh, Optical Ocelot. Uh, actually, the Doom might not be good. Yeah, too late. Too late. Especially because I'm casting magic. God damn it, that was stupid. Is what it is. With that experience. Has anyone picked up amnesia yet? Vampire chick? Like the upside down cross. I gotta update the fucking title of the game too. There we go. Nice empty bottle. Local police are helpless as more and more victims with their throats slashed turn up in the downtown area. Good. Scissors. Botanist. Start with arms. It's a good seed. This is gonna be a tough run. This is gonna be definitely end in death, but I'll try. Um you get the apartment plan to compare with the other flats. I got an empty bottle. I got no weapon. I got fire magic though. Also, that can be pretty useful. Although, with that low stam already, that's... Have I played Phasmophobia yet? I've played it a few times on stream. I played it once for just a little while, but the other day, me and Mono played it for like an hour or two. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of it down there somewhere. Um, I think this is a dexterity check? Luck check. God damn it. Apartment's on the third floor. There's no way somebody used the window to escape the murder scene. I like it a lot, actually. I just hope they add some more into that game. It's like such a, it's almost like a blank slate right now, it feels like. Like the foundation for a cool game is there. Um, I think Hot Bath is doomed. <clears throat> There's a couple cool multiplayer horror games that have come out lately. Like that one I was playing the other day when I was just like walking down a river. That's like multiplayer Monstrum. What the fuck is it called? Um, Max gifted it to me. It's like In Silence or something. It's in, in Something Silence. But there's another one that just came out the other day that's called Silence. And it's like a two to six player game. And one person is like completely blind. And they could see some some things but they hear really well and they're the monster and then everyone else is like trying to get away that one looked like it could be pretty cool i know you're there this is a dex check damn it already down to nine reason but what's the other one called it's in something silence I'm gonna look at this real 
quick. Up, 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 up. Um. Sign of silence. That's the other one. That one's kind of cool. I spent my only dollar on a soda. Damn it! Broken nose? Resting is less effective. Oh my god. Look at her nose. It's just like. Is that her nose? What? Let me get that fixed. I got no money. Oh, fucked up. What does this do? You venture further down the corridor. A nurse walked past you in a hurry. Can you, like, go somewhere? Into the morgue? Take an elevator? The upper floor is eerily silent in comparison. I don't think I've ever been up here before. Check out the patient room? Shouldn't bother recovering patients. Morgue? Morgue doors closed. Is that for, like, something extra? I never even realized that. Yeah, I got no money. I'm an idiot. I should not have come here. Maybe I could sell this. Yes. Yo, fix my nose, please. Oh, it was only a dollar. Hey, that actually worked out well, because I got 20 experience from it. All coming up mill house. You find yourself in an old, unused part of the hospital. You take a deep breath. The disgusting smell of thawed remains still lingers in the room. Used to determine the uh, used to be the hospital's mortuary where doctors determine the causes of death. Also Sonic with that 45 49 months. Hold on, dude. Yeah, I just had to fucking restart the stream and it was all messed up. So everybody went to bed. Search the cabinets. Jesus, I'm just failing everything. Failing it all. You meet with your friend who has recently started her nurse practice. You lazily chat on the roof of the hospital watching the sunset. Now would be the perfect opportunity to ask about recent unearthly events. Not good. That's not a good trade. My reason is so low. We meant at the rest. My doom is already gonna get me, man. Right, we did that. Yeah, this is a bad run. Uh, this could get me a spell, I think. No, no, no. What does it do? It gets rid of doom, but it also takes away reason. Not a very good outcome either way. Not very good. You hear rustling on the other side of your apartment door. Someone's trying to get in. Yeah, I was thinking about grabbing amnesia. I'll probably get it. I was gonna play it tonight, but I was like, eh. It does it looks not as much horror as it is like adventure game. You know what I mean? Also, I have no weapon. This guy's got a lot of health. Before those. We should probably just run. <clears throat> should probably just run. Although, kind of work too. Yeah, you know, Amnesia is not my favorite game by Frictional either. Like, Penumbra, I think, is a game I really like that I wish they would remake. I think it deserved it, but, you know, Amnesia's okay. I just, I remember playing it, streaming it years ago, and I never really, like, it was alright. Oh yeah, I gotta play Golden Light. Dev can't send me a key to play it, and I have not played it since the first time I tried it. Um, and Soma, I mean, I liked a lot, too. Seems disturbing. You struggle to look at it. Man, it's just 
can't get a break here. You enter the dark boiler room. Trip over the pipe. Cursing, you find a light switch and gasp in horror. It's not a pipe at all. It's a long, rubbery arm coiling around the room, ending in a ventilation shaft. Coming closer, you can spot something vile. Check the vent. What's in there? Wait, what's that? Harold. When it got hot in the valley, Thomas and Alfred drove their cows up to a cool green pasture in the mountains to graze. Usually they stayed there with the cows for two months. Then they brought them down to the valley again. The work was easy enough, but oh, it was boring. All day the two men tended their cows. At night they went back to the tiny hut where they lived. They ate supper and worked in the garden and went to sleep. It was always the same. Then Thomas had an idea that changed everything. Let's make a doll the size of a man, he said. It would be fun to make, and we could put it in the garden to scare away the birds. It should look like Harold, Alfred said. Harold was a farmer they both hated. They made the doll out of old sacks stuffed with straw. They gave it a pointy nose like Harold's and tiny eyes like his. Then they added dark hair and a twisted frown. Of course, they also gave it Harold's name. Each morning on their way to the pasture, they tied Harold to a pole in the garden to scare away the birds. Each night, they brought him inside so that he wouldn't get ruined if it rained. When they were feeling playful, they would talk to him. One of them might say, how are the vegetables growing today, Harold? Then the other, making believe he was Harold, would answer in a crazy voice, very slowly. They would both laugh, but not Harold. Whenever something went wrong, they took it out on Harold. They would curse at him, even kick him or punch him. Sometimes one of them would take the food they were eating, which they both were sick of, and smear it on the doll's face. How do you like that stew, Harold? He would ask. Well, you better eat it, or else. Then the two men would howl with laughter. One night, after Thomas had wiped Harold's face with food, Harold grunted. Mm. Did you hear that? Alfred asked. It was Harold, Thomas said. I was watching him when it happened. I can't believe it. How could he grunt? Alfred asked. He's just a sack of straw. It's not possible. Let's throw him in the fire, said Thomas, and that'll be that. Let's not do anything stupid, said Alfred. We don't know what's going on. When we move the cows down, we'll leave him behind. For now, let's just keep an eye on him. So they left Harold sitting in a corner of the hut. They didn't talk to him or take him outside anymore. Now and then the doll grunted, but that was all. After a few days, they decided there was nothing to be afraid of. Maybe a mouse or some insects had gotten inside Harold and were making those sounds. So Thomas and Alfred went back to their old ways. Each morning, they put Harold out in the garden, and each night, they brought him back into the hut. When they felt playful, they joked with him. When they felt mean, they treated him as badly as ever. Then one night, Alfred noticed something that frightened him. Harold is growing, he said. I was thinking the same thing, Thomas said. M maybe it's just our imagination, Alfred replied. We've been up here on this mountain too long. The next morning, while they were eating, Harold stood up and walked out of the hut. He climbed up on the roof and trotted back and forth like a horse on its hind legs. All day and all night long, he trotted like that. In the morning, Harold climbed down and stood in a far corner of the pasture. The men had no idea what he would do next. They were afraid. 
they decided to take the cows down into the valley that same day. When they left, Harold was nowhere in sight. They felt as if they had escaped a great danger and began joking and singing. But when they had gone only a mile or two, they realized they'd forgotten to bring the milking stools. Neither one wanted to go back for them, but the stools would cost a lot to replace. There really is nothing to be afraid of, they told one another. After all, what could a doll do? They drew straws to see which one would go back. It was Thomas. I'll catch up with you, he said, and Alfred walked on toward the valley. When Alfred came to a rise in the path, he looked back for Thomas. He did not see him anywhere, but he did see Harold. The doll was on the roof of the hut again. As Alfred watched, Harold kneeled and stretched out a bloody skin to dry in the sun. I can't believe that Harold was in the vent this whole time. That's crazy. After the police arrived, the whole building was searched. Following the arms, detectives find the body of a man stuck in a ventilation shaft. Later, he's identified as Harold. <laughs> Roads leading out of town were closed by the police. Eh, that could be bad. Nothing? I'll take that. Oh wow, they even bring down the bonus you get for gaining a level in difficult mode. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's tough to say what I should bring up. Really, do need a reason. I need a reason. Ghost connection. I feel like I, I mean, it's called the ghost connection, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think I've played Golden Light since the demo, honestly. It was a while ago, maybe even earlier this year. I have to uh, remember to install that. It was good. It is hard. It looks, it was pretty difficult when I was playing it. Looks a little easier now, though. I'll throw it on the docket. Throw it on the docket. Some of our readers report a strange tall man dressed in white, taking the metro after dark, apparently stalking lone passengers. Please take care and avoid traveling alone. I don't think another bottle is just going to appear in there. Um, we could go to the school. That actually is a plan. The plan. The spine-chilling story of school scissors. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back to where she belongs, he claimed. Also, by the way, how does the microphone sound tonight? I tweaked some things. Hopefully it sounds okay or better, maybe? Hopefully not worse. I'm hoping. I can send her back to where she belongs. What's up, Yandia? Yeah, you don't. After he disappeared, too, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that can stop the wicked woman once and for all. And what's the worst thing that could happen? Yeah, I don't know, man. What's the worst thing that could happen? What's the worst thing that could happen? Really? Is it quiet? It's quiet still? I thought it would be a little louder. I'm turn that down.
Dum -dum -dum -dum. Because I, you know, I was listening to it the other day and it did sound like it was a little quiet. <clears throat> so I tried to like kind of um, boost it a little bit and bring it up a little bit more. Might be a little bit better. Um, your missing friend has left you a notebook. I think we want to fight the bad scissor lady. Because then we get the scissors. Two bullets. Yeah, I think we're pretty good to go here. All we gotta do is just explore the school. Make sure we're not getting the right symbols. Getting access to the student database would certainly speed up your investigation, but the receptionist would never allow it. If only there was a way to make her go away for a while. Nice. You feel like something horrible is happening within the school. You must hurry and find those items. I might as well just check it. Ooh, that's a weird one. It's like a weird triangle with a sewing pin pushed into it. Something like that. Boom, 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 boom. You're stopped by a girl you haven't seen in months, but how could you? She died in an accident. Stalker girl. Um. I'm gonna have to beat her. The gun. Doesn't really have that bad a attack. Six. Oh, it's gonna take a little too long. It's gonna take too long. Can't get in one of those. Get out of here, stalker. I could just shoot. I can't really do that, though. I mean, that's even... Maybe I should just run. Nah, we gotta fight. We gotta stand and fight. I need to do that either, honestly. Can I not get two of those? Okay, that's four, seven. I like those odds a little bit more. Come on! So that means two of those. Bam, bam, bam! Take her out. Oh fuck, at least with what? She's getting health back. Oh, she's a fucking vampire. Oh no, I didn't realize that. That's not good. Throw the bat. <clears throat> oh, that fucked her up. Holy shit, I've never seen a throw item do that much damage before. Holy fuck. I was like Oh, uh, it's only four damage. It's still a lot. I thought it was like six for some reason. That's a pretty good amount of damage. It's a lot of damage. Actually, I could do it this way. Yeah. Fuck it. Wait, what's that? An occult diary. Minus three percent. Don't don't mind if I do. I do need this. Why not? Keep going. Make the wrong school. You enter the damp smelling sport wing. You notice a backpack drifting on a swimming board in the middle of the pool. Could it be what you were looking for? Is it you I'm looking for? A bloated figure emerges from the murky water, blocking your only way out of the pool. The bloated teacher. Oh, I forgot I can cast magic. Completely forgot about that. Slightly important detail. Well, let's give him one of those. 
cast a little fire. A lot of doom. Hmm. Pretty easy to hit, too, but two stam. A little too much. It's like six. We could take him out. Without taking any damage. Should I, though? This is the question. This is going to cause doom either way. Did that cost me like five doom to cast that spell? The experience might come in handy, though. We're on the second quest. Fuck it. Yeah, it's five. That wasn't worth it. That wasn't worth it. The corridor is flooded by a black sludge that's slowly oozing from under the door to the chemistry classroom. A damp, moldy stench grows as you get closer. How are you going to get to the other side? Oh, I had an empty bottle. Fuck, I've never filled it up at this event before. There should be a spell that just lets you summon an, an empty bottle whenever you need to. I've been dumb like that. It'd be kind of funny. Or an ally that's like drinking and you get a fucking like bottle from it. I don't know. Um, the detour is doom. Risk going through, I think, is damage. Possible dexterity, perception. Fuck, cut artery, that's bad. Blech! The sound of scissors is getting louder. You must hurry. As you enter the school gym, you notice a strange black doll that's minus two fucking reason. Alright, everything's ready. You found a holy candle. It's time. Shoot this ghost. Wait, what's that? The sigil and holy candles don't seem to have any effect on this horrible monster. Have you drawn it wrong? Frozen in fear, you watch as the twitching horror gets closer and closer. It raises its enormous scissors and croaks. Am I beautiful? Twisting and twitching. Demon woman menacingly cackles. She's also the triple chalupa lady. I like how the two eyes are connected here. I like that. Yeah, so she's pretty bad. So we're gonna shoot her. We're gonna shoot her. I mean, if those both connect, it doesn't really matter. Maybe I should like... Boom, boom, boom. Boom. What do you think? Take the risk? Empty it out on her? Do it! Kill her! Thank you. The ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. The only thing left of her are the large scissors. You stare at them, unsure what to feel. Something must... Please let me... You know, me very slowly, you pick up the scissors and your mouth widens into a smile. Ooh, I got a new spell. Memory extract. Plus two reason. For doom? Hey, that could be pretty useful. Scissor woman is gone for good. Or is it? You shudder, knowing the urban legend will inspire another kid in another city to try to summon the eldritch being. Oof. I thought I got more doom mouth. <clears throat> Ghost connection. Ugh. 
not good. Yeah, I got some scissors, though. They're good. Sport rifle, it's a bummer you can't sell it anymore. You used to sell for a lot. Ooh, me in a level. Dun, dun. Forgetting spells regains extra reason. Additional damage against ghosts and eldritch enemies. That could also be useful. Does that count as for spells? I wonder. Self therapy, though, that does sound useful as well. Especially if you get that book that just gives you more spells. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take that. That's pretty useful. We're gonna take the knowledge too, because the scissors proc with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Once a year, a ramen shop appears where there was once an alleyway. The ramen sold inside is made from its former patrons, but can cure any health problems. Oh, did I get the dollar? I did. Yeah, I gotta get my arteries fixed. I forget if it only costs a dollar or not. Start with the sound flourish. This will bring me to the town at first. Three students disappeared in the process of making a documentary about local folklore and legends of the nearby forest. Has anyone seen any good, like, uh, creepy documentaries? I feel like I can't find any any more that I like can really get into. I've seen them all. Now, on the first anniversary of the event, a suspicious man has started asking questions. He claims to be a private investigator hired by the parents of the students. Except, the parents of your friends didn't hire him. Who is he and what did he... What did the students discover out there? Three students disappeared. Go to the mansion. Just once. Oh no, it's doom. It's doom. We gotta get some rest. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm bleeding. Go to the hospital. I need money though, I think, before I go there. Taking a risk. I hope it's only a dollar. Come on, man. Fix me up. Fuck. I can't get a dollar. I can't sell a rifle. Oh, that was stupid of me. Good sell the scissors. Damn it. That was so dumb of me. Yeah, I've seen Cropsy. And yeah, I agree. That half that's about like the mental system is not really the fun kind of creepy. I guess I could get some money here. Be cursed though. Or I could try to, to like roll for a bonus item. Oh, this is fucking not good, dude. Please don't curse me. Oh no. Yeah, that's not too bad. No, I didn't mean to investigate it. I'm just fucking up, man. You look healthy. Will you be so kind and help the community? But I'm a fucking cannibal. Yo, this run is so botched. Please hear me. Oh, now I got blood loss. Great. That's just great. I'm also bleeding from the mouth from not my blood. So, could be a problem. People point and talk about a man on the side of the street. He, he looks confused, muttering to himself while occasionally touching 
a festering wound on his cheek. You stop in your tracks and listen to the man's cursed incantations. Also, Gandhi and again, thank you for that, that reset, man. I appreciate that. Um, I if I should rest again. 41% doom, though. It's pretty bad. Yeah, it's already suffering from blood loss. Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the playground. When you ask her what's wrong, she says she can't find her mommy. Luckily, you spot the girl's address on a backpack lying nearby. If you take her home, you get, like, yelled at. You offer to take her home. When you get there, the terrified mother slams the door in your face. From behind the door, she starts screaming to get the girl away. The little girl calmly tells you that she can take it from here. I don't understand that event. Oh shit, I got Seal of Bramio? What the hell did that happen? I could use this, it would be helpful, but I'm gonna forget it for the extra reason right now. that doubles my I forgot I had this too things aren't that dire yet because I'm already at minus one max stam that would be I'd be a 10 max stam I feel like that's for emergency situation wow this costs one stam what the fuck We'd have to buy a can of acid to get the good ending for this one, and I just don't have the money for it. My dude. Hey, but why is the mom terrified? I don't understand. That was my initial thought, like some kind of like abusive home, but definitely doesn't. It sounds weird. I don't know. I can't tell like what the idea is there. Is she a demon? Maybe. There's a kid you had a. VHS copy of From Beyond, Strange Harvest, about cattle mutilation and aliens. See, I like those. I don't like the cattle mutilation stuff. That shit is fucking nasty when they show it. Like, I don't, I have no interest in that. Like, there's something weird about that to me, especially if it is, like, if aliens weren't real, like, who's doing that? You know what I mean? Like, it reminds me of, like, crop circles. That's the only, that's one of the things with alien stuff I don't like is, and they show shit like that. It's like, what? That's so weird. Oh, it was like a ghost I brought back? Okay. Interesting. The trail to an abandoned Shinto shrine is overgrown and steep. Take the safe route. I have, like, no strength. Oof. Let me get lucky here. Our master is coming, and we can all blask. Blask? Blask in his glory. Hero. Blast it! Hate this guy. I hate this guy. Oh, it costs experience to cost. That's not interesting. I hate this guy. Oh, I hit fucking hard with those scissors, though. Holy shit. He, call, he adds doom, though. That's 21. Compared to 20. I guess it doesn't really matter. Ow.
Yeah, not bad. You find a pile of human teeth lying on a nearby rock. Delicious. A lot of teeth in this game. Stoned wallabies making crop circles. Is that like Rocco's Modern Life? Hey, I saw that they discovered a new Nazca line the other day. It's just like a cat on a hill. It's pretty cute, actually. While wandering through the woods, you discover strange carvings on one of the trees, and I look at them. They were made recently. Could they be connected with the current mystery? Yeah, I guess so. You have a feeling someone's watching you. Man, it was like on a hill. God damn it. What do they curse me with? Stalker? Dude, we got a stalker. We went down to EB Games. Got a stalker. Brought it home. Tried to play it on the computer and it wouldn't work. The cult members are on your trail. You must hurry. You discover a giant plush toy half buried in a ditch. Feeling uneasy, you take a step back, but it's already too late. I love this anime. I've only seen them like a few times. The Dream Eater. It's like a, it's a drowsy, right? That's clearly what this is. Pokemon, right? Let's cut them open. Catch it. Hmm. What if we did one of these? Fucking idiot. Oh, you suck. Oh my god, that was so clutched. The knot. Oh my god. I didn't even know what that sentence was gonna be. You have a feeling someone's following you. Wasn't that the last one? You discover an old campsite located on the edge of a small clearing. The tent has been knocked down and the food and utensils have been scattered everywhere. Is there ever an alternative to fighting and running? Uh, depends on the fight. With ghosts, you can actually pray them away. If you know how to. Investigate the ground for clues. Search the tent. Ignore the tent. Sergeant, fuck it, whatever. Yeah, why not? Why not, man? I think I need to cast this spell. I think I have no choice. I only got three stam left. We must regrow the flesh. Come on, let me get the fuck out of these woods. Exploring the forest is exhausting. It's getting dark, so you decide to get back to the main road, but where is that? Are you lost? Find your way out. Nice. Come on, get me out of here. 
Thank you. What splash is behind you making you stop? You slowly turn around and see a young girl slowly walking in your direction. In her eyeball, there's a swarm of disgusting worms. One of them falls to the floor and says, hey. Oh, there's one coming out of her ear. I never noticed that. I never noticed that. 80% chance to... Yeah. Let's go for it. Fuck it. Kill her. Nope. Not even a one shot. I'm doing well in my rolls tonight. Finally, the rumored witch house seems empty. In the basement, however, you find a camera pointed at a large hole in the ground. On the table next to the camera, you see three cassettes, each titled after one of the missing friends. Let's go. I don't have time for that. Gain the level. Luck. Knowledge. We go with knowledge. We're gonna need that stamina. Stamina. Well, I think we might get doomed out now, honestly. Especially with the fact that I have to cast spells. to uh, do anything. And I could start with that one. This will be easier, but it's going to be outside in the forest. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. You've got the business card of a gardening company where the missing man was working. Maybe some of his colleagues could tell you something useful. Maybe. School twice. I don't think I'm gonna bother with that. Your friends ask you, that's not good. Nice. Shiro san has always been a weirdo, but he was good at what he did. Last month, he ordered a pack of experimental fungicide from Tokyo. He's a mushroom. Ooh, a gun. I think this takes away a lot of reason, though, honestly. I could use it. I'm gonna... Ooh, nice. You get plus reason for running away. No, I didn't know that. Shit out of here. Um, feeling hungry, you entered a small local restaurant and ordered the daily special made with today's catch. Just where the hell do those fishermen go? It's a shrimp, man. Ugh. Loaded. Something is moving inside your stomach. Oh, God. I'm in the middle of the woods. Oh, the trees overhead begin to block the sunlight. I feel gloomy. But I could cast a spell, couldn't I? Lost in time and space. You drift in nothingness until something pulls you towards the light. I'm gonna get doomed out, there's no way. The temperature abruptly drops and you shudder in the icy cold. You find yourself in the middle of a snowy wasteland. A sudden gust flings to your knees. You inhale deeply, feeling your chest tighten and ache. Your fingers and ears are already numbed and freeze are now freezing. You have to move. I don't know what happens if you say just give up. 
You collapse devoid of all hope. What? Oh, you take some doom out, though. Ah. I thought it was plus doom. I was like, what's the point of that? I mean, I could cast a spell. Oh, yeah, I got an injury now, too. I got fucking frostbite. That's really bad. Yikes. Yeah, that wasn't worth it. That wasn't worth it. This guy does a lot of doom now. Why does he do so much more? Jeez. Oh, we're so fucked. If we could have gotten the end boss on like the first or second Um, event here, we probably would have been okay, but I'm fucked now. There's no way. Help the dog! God damn it, nothing's working out. Yeah, he might get plus one doom each time you see him. I have no choice here. Gain an additional follower, discard on use. Sure, why not? I'm gonna die anyways. Let go, double available funds. I wish I had a little bit more. He looks at you waiting. See you later. Just met a random, random dude in the forest, doubled my money. It was a weird night. Hey, here we go. See him at 95% doom. I was fucked either way, but I screwed myself. Screwed myself. Oh wait, could I not notice because I didn't do the extra part? I see. Well, I'm fucked. Go. Okay, he gets all fucked up. Better than me, though. Vines whip you, covering your exposed skin in deep lacerations. You cry in pain, dropping the body of Shiro-san. There's no way you'll be able to save him. With a heavy heart, you run, leaving the man behind you are supposed to protect. Hey, you learned something new. I learned void again. God damn it. Not very helpful. Sure. I know how to end this run. We'll just go into the other world. It's going to doom me out. Wait, it didn't work. Do I have to be, like, be in an event? What about now? Uh, you can't just, like, cast it in your house. Second Sight did more damage to ghosts and eldritch monsters. <laughs> you actually have to be, like, doing something. If I had less doom, it would be fine here. Yeah. If it wasn't off the lazzle off, we'd be fine. That was my mistake, though. That was my bad. Today's goal, explore weird village. Investigating the field. Our master's coming. No, I think I'm going to go into the portal. No? He won't let me cast it. But he's going to doom me out on his own. And <laughs> will let me cast it. Under the mysterious Othlazaloth's influence, the city engulfed in chaos. 
All the eldritch magic would make made our planet a bright waypoint for the bloated old god. No, this is all messed up. Well, that was a run. Yeah, I wanted to escape to the board to the void. But it just didn't work out. Work out for me. Oh, I did it again. You know what? I'm gonna restart it because I want to see the achievements that I need. Oops. There's like a specific kind of run I need to do. All right. Um, these are all kind of like sound like a pain in the ass. Enter the overgrown factory wearing the occult robe and the uh, covered poster mask. Huh. Backstab a follower. Equip two sources of light at the same time. Discard three books in one playthrough. Destroy your eye and open a third one. I don't. Drink the blood of a forgotten beast and survive. That must be for the goblet. Bring it to the void. Put the game of the fourth character. Oh, that's with. Okay. I've never beaten it with Haru. I guess I've never beaten it with the idol? I'm pretty sure I have. Feed an outer entity? What? Yeah, I still never solved the blue gem riddle. Win a playthrough on hard difficulty. Alright. Well, that's kind of what we're doing. I can do that. I think we can do that. JSJ. Yeah, I've beaten it a bunch of times. Not lately, though, I guess. That's not true, though. I think I beat it once recently. Maybe. That's playing hard. Again. Play as Miku. I think that might be my best bet. Or honestly, Kiri was pretty good. But I've still never beaten it with her, apparently. Now I beat it with her. Fuck it. For a background. Can't have any allies. More unique combat encounters. How much harder is harder? You just minus four health from normal. Which could be pretty tough sometimes. I think that's it. I don't know if it makes it any more difficult in other ways. Let's go. Let's do our shit. I'm gonna try to beat this. Ah! 
I picked oh my god, I picked Akomanta right away. Well Well Nah, it might not be that bad. I don't think I want to fight the real one though. He is gonna kick my ass. He's gonna kick my ass. Wait, why is it suddenly so dark outside? You, sit, you stand by the window and take a look. Black smog emerges from the courtyard, coating everything in an oily vapor. I think run as a dex check. He was my favorite. Right, anyways. We'll just keep it rolling. True Akko is like one of the tougher people in the game for some reason. Cool gun. Not a bad gun to find. Checking out the school's pool area would be a good idea. Ritsuko Chen was the most promising athlete in the school. When she suddenly disappeared, the case was quickly closed without any suspects. Today, she's finally dug herself out. Ooh, I've never seen this one. That's fucked. Holy shit. Hard to hit. Thinking myself ringing ears. That's tough. Might be better off doing that. Just kicking her. Could pop him. Prick it with a needle. <laughs> Bad for you, though. As part of the therapy, some patients took part in an art class. Some of their work fills you with dread. This is bad. Yeah, getting access to student database would certainly suit me. Go and rest. Wow, that's a lot of doom. So the old god I picked gives you more doom for resting at home. But Miku also levels up when you get 20% doom. She gets, like, more stats and stuff. So, it is what it is. I might need another weapon for this. Any spells? Stumble upon the computer room. This is a good chance to check the school's database to look for anything that might be helpful in your investigation. It's a knowledge check. Do it. Fuck it. I knew I was going to fail it, but it's one to roll. Oh, we're so fucked. We're so fucked. Akamanto. Just keep shooting him, I guess. Slicing me. I barely survive this. Blood flowing from wounds in the tall man's red coat make it look like he was slowly melting. You hear a cackling coming from behind the mask and faint. And when you wake up, he's gone. Somehow, you know you'll be back in another stall, another school, and another city, continuing the horror. Alright. That's actually pretty good, but... Ugh. Well, we're gonna be resting at home anymore.
probably should have not done that. This run is so fucked. I mean, whatever. Ouch. For one. They say the ghost of a heartbroken boy appears on the street at night. Is it just an urban legend or is there some truth to this tale? Hey! We're not too bad right now. It survives some encounters. Although I have no bullets left. Don't overwork yourself. Hey! See, it all worked out. We need some cash though. That. So my only weapon right now is an empty gun. Need like another few bucks. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Need to buy the knife. That's useful. Need a little bit more cash, though. Or we need to find a steak knife. More doom. Turn home to freshen up when you enter your bathroom, however. You discover that your shower is missing. In its place, there's an old clawfoot tub. I forget what happens if it goes well. No! Don't take a bath in a weird tub. What are you doing? Could be money. <sighs> oh my god. All right, I got an idea. We're gonna get a few bucks by getting cursed, but it's gonna be a good curse. Watch. Fuck. Eh. I don't have any spells. Yes. Excuse me. Hang up. Target area. Check the vent. Who is that in there? Oh my god. You almost fall to the ground when you see the wide open stare of Stone Cold Steve Austin. In the level. Faster combat actions. Ooh, minus one or plus one reason for all failed bench skill checks is really good though. So I'm failing everything right now. Combat actions speed is pretty important though. Like my eye tattoo. You like it? Wait, did I take a hmm. but the same either way? Um, well, Eels is pretty easy. I can get Kiru, or whatever her name is, Kana. Kana. Perhaps if you don't go to the seaside toys. Dun, 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 dun. 
It's a ghost. It's a g -g -g ghost. It's not too bad. Be six damage. Three turns. Let's get the fuck out of here. Take a peek, horrified. You catch a glimpse of an art class. One disturbing painting draws your attention. Very good. Are you offered each perk option only once or sometimes you get them again? Oh, you get them all again. Unless it's something you already have, I think. Just like the RNG. Cold bath. Yay. Ba -ba -ba. Damn, that one sucks too. I hate that encounter. Burnt note. It's about eels and eyes. Hey, it's been good. Connor was right. So bad in the doom already. You barely dodge a knife swing and fall to the ground. A short-haired woman giggles and takes a step back. You can run from us, friend, but you won't hide. I don't know why I said friend before. What the fuck? Cultist hunter? What up with the eyes? I'm gonna cut ya. Oof. Not quick enough. It's not a lot of damage. Eight, nine. Better off throwing this shit at you. Oof. Those are definitely not gonna hit. Come on. Hit this motherfucker. Everyone. Thank you. Kill him. Of course I get minus one reason after that. Of course I do. A loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. The dexterity check. Damn it, I already checked the seaside twice. I always forget about that one. I need some stamina. Ooh. Another doom. The risk, man. It was a risk. We gotta go to the hospital. Minus three reason, but we got a puncture. It's time. Bump, bump, bump. Imagine her doing this. Like her friends, like just do it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Shocked, you see countless tiny eels crawling out of your friend's eyes in all directions. Will she even survive the blood loss? You rush to the hospital with Kana, getting a lot of horrified looks from people. Your friend's taken immediately to the operating theater, and you collapse in a chair in the waiting area. Got Kana. 
friendly dog disappeared last night. Those sons of bitches. Right, we need the reason. Actually, we need the stamina. Let's put these away. Gain a level. Uh, dexterity is probably going to help me out more than anything right now. Let's go double dex. Actually, only two quests left. Spine chilling. We'll do hospital first, because I need to heal probably before we go into the school. I'm not... Uh, it's minus a lot of reason if I don't do the main quest, but the monster is pretty tough. I do have this mask that takes 10% doom off, though. Yeah, let's see what happens. Hearing footsteps behind you, you realize you're not the only student here. A girl wearing a demon's mask starts giggling as she gets closer. Oh, the young witch. Sucks. Um, um. a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. It's a pretty good chance of hitting now. It's a lot of damage though. Either that or you go rest after. God damn it. I guess I can hold on to that to throw. Because then this is just one. I probably shouldn't even have done that fight then. Because that's more doom. I should have not fought. It's stupid. It's stupid of me. The only metro line to town connects the university with the science complex. Take a ride. Reason failure. A pale woman wearing a nurse outfit stops you. Today, we're running a blood drive. Stamina if I fucking do it. That'd be no good. While taking an elevator, you get a terrible feeling as if something bad is about to happen. Fuck, this is minus three reason. Not good. Not good at all. Walking through the park, you spot a girl standing in the bush. Getting closer, you suddenly realize she's... not standing in the bush. She's part of it. Beep, beep, beep. And it's 12. Throw the knife! Oh, I should have added some... It's uh, you know. a branch. I'm pretty fucked. Pretty, pretty fucked. This is bad. Walking through the hospital corridor, you hear disgusting slurping sounds coming from the closet. A vampire. He's already on pretty high chance. 
to hit too. Maybe this branch will hurt her enough to one cycle it. No. That was a waste. That was a big fat waste. Some cash though. We managed to sneak through the floor, avoiding the police, and finally reached the quarantine wing where all the coma patients were brought in. Their pulse is slowly weakening and the blood pressure dropping. You must hurry. Yeah, all the patients are dead. That's the reason. Oh, I don't get any reason back for that one, too. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Be yeah, like the skin of our teeth, if anything. But only the scissors and... Oh, I can't even rest, though. Oh, this sucks. That's bad. That's bad. I should have saved and probably healed a little bit there. Or not saved. Yeah, that's bad. Oh, we got no choice. You got a free baseball bat out of it. I can't even spend this money. It's one of the worst parts. In the morning, you usually only remember glimpses of dreams. You know two things. First, they're always both terrifying and inescapable. Second, the man from your nightmare is standing on the other side of the street looking for you. Confront him. Damn it. That ain't good. Uh, the, the mask. Virtual mask. Small chance of ignoring reason loss in combat. So in the update, they're making it so it's like a pumpkin, this part. I wish I could spend that money. Takes place in the flashlight. I mean, I guess I need that right now. Yes, I need it. I don't know what that Something's wrong. Instead of a clear blue sky, you see the bloated corpse of a long forgotten deity looming over the school's roof. The barrier between worlds is coming apart. You must hurry or risk being noticed by whatever other eldritch horrors still lurk there. Run! Run, you fool! It's like a weird upside down triangle. There's like a thing in it. What? looks big. Uh, the kitchen. Look for first aid. Hey! Please let me get out of here. Oh no, this is minus reason, I think, for no reason. Ooh! Oh my god. Perform the ritual. Wait, what's that? Is it her? Yeah, it's easy one. Cool. Am I beautiful? 
Yeah, that reason is not good because I can't survive anything from her. This is very bad. This is very bad. I'm going to throw this at her. I wish I could throw my fucking money at her. She's still going to hit me once. Da -da 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 -da. This is pretty bad. Oh, what's up, Sphinx? Thanks for the raid, dude. What's going on? Thanks for that resub, Elizabeth. Right Appreciate it. Oh, they all hit, but we died. Frozen in fear, you watch as she gets closer. Her sharp scissors are slowly cutting through your cheeks as she asks you. My beautiful. I thought I would get the chance. Am I playing on sudden death? Yeah, looks like that rain, dude. You guys are doing well. Because usually you get the chance to heal a little bit if you go below. I think I think it's sudden death. Ba, da, 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 da. Yep. Whoops. So there's two different combat modes in this game. This will make a huge difference seemingly, but kind of does if you think about it. So it's basically like the difference between Earthbound and other games. So sudden death in combat, you can drop to like below five in stamina or reason and you won't die. You get the chance to like reheal. But if you end combat and go into your next encounter with negative health, you do die. On the other hand, you can play with last stand, which is just you die immediately when you go below zero. So. Usually I play with sudden death on or last last stand is I'm see they're like mixed up. I'm way more used to this. This is way more friendly too. Last stand. Bye. That was close though. This doesn't show. Oh, they're adding a Halloween timeline. Look at that. Oh, so this will be like an extra game mode. So that Halloween, the patch will make it so like... If you want to play the special event, it's right there. That's cool. It's not available yet. Apparently it's coming out soon. That's really neat. That's a good idea. So that way, like, you can have the Halloween stuff in the game for whenever you want. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, let's do an endless mode. Zakwu. Yeah, it's coming out soon, apparently. There's no reason to go into this mode with, like, the difficulty up high, though, I don't think. Or even curse at all. Um... one's worse. We'll go with up. You know, that's a lot for this one. Bum, bum, bum. So endless mode It's just an, <laughs> as the name suggests, an endless mode of encounters. 
Like, no mysteries. No story. Just random encounters. For as long as you can. Many mansions uh, around a certain lake have been deserted in the last 10 years. Why? Why? Uh, the round window of a crooked manor tower is calling to you. You feel your strength drain away as you stare into the bright light. Fight this feeling. Why is that charisma? Just one glimpse of the eldritch landscape is enough. You manage to cover your eyes to move where you can't see the damned window. You feel sick, but at least you're safe for now. What? Why is that? Recently, they hired two new nurses from Tokyo. No one knows what they do, nor where they stay after their shifts. Smoky. I don't know. I got to 60. While taking an elevator, you get a terrible feeling as if something bad is about to happen. That one sucks. Fuck that one. That's gotta be like one of the worst encounters in the game. Talking with an older woman, you can't help but notice her worried face. Quick looks towards something behind you. Is it the wind you can feel on your neck or? Turn around. You suddenly turn around and catch a man trying to hide behind a, co a corner. You're being followed. Yeah, like inner will. I guess I can see that. Your neighbor, Odo-san, has been... Sometimes I accidentally see that as Odo. I think it's just supposed to be in redacted. Has been acting very strange lately. Odo. Oh, speaking of... Mr. Redacted, your neighbor is a horror manga artist. A new family's moved in above you last week. You don't like the sounds you hear at night. People point and talk about a man on the other side of the street. I mean, he could look like anyone, though. I love the art for this, for Mind Drain. Looks so cool. Um, I mean, it's not really going to help me. I'll hold on to it for now. You're stopped by a masked man wearing a lab coat. He introduces himself as a researcher from Tokyo University, testing a new treatment method that revolutionized modern medicine. Holding out a pile of documents, he tells you that he can heal your wounds for free. You just need to sign here. I have no wounds. We good. Suspicious group. It's a strength check. Yeah. What do you think this picture is? What is it? What do you see? Someone's been branding the patients with occult symbols. Soon the worst. Branded like cattle. I thought it looks like a... Um, like a dog, kind of. More doom. Oh, I didn't investigate the right place. Fucked up. More doom. We can deal with a little bit of doom for now. I don't even have a weapon. Ugh. I mean, that's not bad for right now. That could actually add up. This could be useful. Okay, I'm gonna use it right now. We have to equip it, that's right. 
Well, there's no point in using this right now. There's still time. This guy is coming up a lot tonight. Jesus Christ. I need to find the spell that lets you run away without causing any uh, doom. I'm just gonna run. You can't run from this encounter? Oh shit. Oh shit. Doom. Fuck. These all have to hit. <laughs> Only one of them did. Dude, I'm so fucked. Come on. Not going well. Scavenge the room. Damn it. Steak knife? Shit. Blue gem can do nothing with this right now. A little bit of a cursed endless mode. Ah, I just got robbed for the, all the money I didn't have. That's good. Hmm. You enter a metro car. You notice an oddly shaped package on the seat opposite you. It's marked with your name. You reach for the package, but you hesitate. An icy feeling settling into the pit of your stomach. Dex check. Failing every check. Oh, looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a woman. Her skin a ghastly pale yellow color. Jesus, man. This is not going good. A curse! Suicidal, chance of losing Stam each time you lose reason. Which is pretty fucking bad. It makes every enemy just do all damage. Uh, Jarvan. That's rough. What you thought was just a discarded pile of clothes suddenly moves as it stands up a cloud of white powder. Fills the air. Yeah, this is... The, the design for this guy is awesome. Oh yeah, I got no weapon. Run! Sport! You got a weapon? Carpenter hammer. Monkey wrench. I don't know if I've seen this one yet. Three bucks, Jesus. Sell the bottle. Oops. I don't think we're going with that. I just need a weapon. Her strength is pretty high, too. Ugh. It's not good. Uh, looks like one of the previous owners of this mansion liked to read. Dusty tomes reach the ceiling. You don't know how much time, but maybe you could spare some time to look through the books. Check out the table. 
This is bad. This is bad. Mortuary blues. You find yourself in an old, unused part of the hospital. You take a deep breath. The disgusting smell of thawed remains still lingers in the room. Search the cabinet. A sewing kit. I'll take it. Yeah, this is bad. This could curse me, but you know what? Hell yeah. I need that. May as well use this, too. Fuck it. Cult members are on your trail. 2% doom. You stumble upon a nurse trying to open a door to the intensive care unit, constantly mumbling something. When she turns around, her face makes you scream in horror. Is that vampire? I think. Bum, bum. Oof, the chance to hit is so bad. With the monkey wrench, holy shit. Yeah, that's not happening. Monkey wrench may have been a bad idea. <laughs> she hit that second bad. Uh, not wanting to wait for an elevator, you decide to take the rarely used stairs. You suddenly trip but grab the railing in the last second. When you get up to inspect what caused you to trip, you freeze in terror. Slowly standing up. Ghost man. I mean, we could do that. Eight. a lot of reason. I guess for easy mode, it's plus two, one for a level up bonus, but in hard mode, it's minus two. It's only three. In the mirror, you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. More doom. Really fucking doomed. Huge fires consumed a wing of the mansion, revealing countless human bones. I guess investigate. I didn't realize I was out of money, too. I forget what peace of mind takes away. What's up, Yakers? It gives you more doom. Something pulls you towards the beach. Ignore it. You don't want it. Thank God. A sudden growl coming from behind a corner makes you stop. A corner? Yeah, I don't think I can fight this lady, and she's a ghost. I mean, I could. 
Yeah, yeah, we could. She's not too bad. Oh, that didn't do as much damage as I thought it was going to do. Oh, wait, no, it did. I did not need to do that. I fucked that up. How's it going, Freya? How you doing? I should have thrown the the coin in the turn before that. She only had like two health left. I don't think I've ever had the compass for this before. Using your compass, you determine the direction and start walking in a straight line. It doesn't take long to finally spot the buildings. You feel safer thinking about how prepared you were. I'm gonna doom. In the forest, you hear a faint whimpering in the distance. When we find it, you discover a wild dog held by a hind leg in a bear trap. Dog, please join me. My luck is so bad in this game. Town's docks are a mix of modern warehouses, small shops, and bars where the alternative crowd gathers. An ancient wooden temple occupies a small hill at the town's center. It's, uh, uh the temple is freezing, yeah. It's not too bad. They say a ghost of a heartbroken boy appears on the street at night. Is it just an urban legend or is there some truth to this tale? the night there. You plan to wait an entire night, observing the spot where the supposed ghost would appear, but you fall asleep. You wake up on a cold bench and your body aches badly. Investigate the mansion. You find a heavy tome wrapped in moth-eaten black velvet in the locked old cabinet. This could be a good spell. Random effect. Ooh, it gave me a bunch of experience. I don't know what it just did. <gasps> it cursed me. I know, is that from something else? I think that was from picking up the book. Again. Absorb. I got a spell out of it. One more time. It took away Doom. Interesting. Interesting. When the patient came home one morning covered in scars and babbling about aliens, the police had them committed. They're mumbling something quietly as you pass by. Christmas. Not going good. Your friends asked you to meet them. Damn it, that one sucks. You overhear a fisherman talking with someone. I wish the fish didn't look like that. I know what you mean, man. Know what you mean. The investigation can wait. A hot bath is too inviting. Time for a bath. Trees overhead block the sunlight and you begin to feel gloomy. A new family has moved in above you last week. How many families move in above me? Despite your best efforts, you feel like the, the neighborhood is starting to change. That means like more random encounters. Impossible angles and seemingly moving lines make your head spin. How is this possible? A reporter from Tokyo is making a documentary about local legends. You should get in contact with her. In the morning, you usually only remember glimpses of your dreams. You know two things. First, they're always both terrifying and inescapable. 
Second, the man from your nightmares is standing on the other side of the street looking for you. Confront him. Damn it. Hey, we got to endless mode, uh... Part four, though. Uh, we gotta go for the doom. Where the fuck am I getting? I tried it. Yeah, I gained a level there. Um, didn't I already get that? Huh? That'd be helpful. Suddenly, everything slows to a crawl. The time warper. It's not too bad. I'll kill him. You find an old trophy case set in a seemingly abandoned corridor. Everything inside is covered with a thick layer of dust. One metal seems particularly valuable. Yeah. Oh, wow, my stand is hella low. It's not bringing my doom up. A woman jumps out of her apartment covered in gore. Between sobs, she tries to explain what happened. Mr. Gore fell into a fan. Calm her down. A reporter from Tokyo is making a documentary about local legends. You should get in contact with her. Nope. Minus two reason. Walking on the beach, you discover a giant charred pit. The Burning Man. Yeah, Al Gore fell in a fan. It's true. Nine, ten. Kill this guy. Wait, what's that? Corpse dust. Minus two luck. I'm having great luck. I don't need it. Stop! This is a crime scene. Nice. I think it had turned 50. That would be pretty crazy. Yeah, luck? What's that? Walking through the hospital corridor, you're stopped by an older man with a cast on his leg. Can you help me go down these stairs? <laughs> you struggle to help the man, but you both fall down the stairs. The man's cast breaks and you scream. Underneath the cast, there's a seething sore frothing with green bubbles. The man smiles. His smile's too wide for his face. Recently, they hired two nurses from Tokyo. No one knows what they do nor where they stay after their shifts. Walking through the hospital corridor, you hear a disgusting slurping sound coming from a closet. Bloodsucker. And that's 12. Doom. Wow, we hit turn 50 with this shit going on. 
I can't go any stores. What am I talking about? Enter the void. Nah, not good. <gasps> I got an empty bottle. You fill a container with sacred blood. Why? It gives me 3% doom. Is if you drink this, you just die. It's funny. Filled with boiling blood. Flashlight, nice. Don't really need that, though. Mitsuko-chan was the most promising athlete in the school. When she suddenly disappeared, the case was quickly closed without any suspects. Today, she finally dug herself out. Throw a flashlight at her. Throw that old book at her. We don't need it anymore. Oh, I can't throw it. Throw a bottle of blood at her. Oh, I can't even throw it. What are you supposed to do with this? Plus one luck back after minus two for plus 20 experience. Are you kidding me? None of these are good outcomes. You won. A pale woman wearing a nurse outfit stops you. Yeah, I'll donate some blood. Oh, no. The corridor is flooded by a black sludge that's slowly oozing from under the door to the chemistry classrooms. The damp, moldy stench grows as you get closer. Damn it, if I had the empty bottle still. Damn. Torn muscle. Fuck. Now let's check failure. Yeah, this is a bad list of things to have going on. Only 3% more doom. Oh, this lady sucks. Oh, I prepped twice. Oops. Her face is out there somewhere. Study the writing. Nice. A new spell. Seal of Savash. Don't really need that. Actually, I should get rid of all of these. Only 1% doom, it's over. 311. Yeah, it's already over. So his attack naturally does nothing. This could go on forever, in theory. You could always drink that blood. I'm going out like this. Suddenly, you start to suffocate. The boiling blood quickly melts your trachea. The obnoxious fumes liquefy your bones and your face collapses under its own weight. For two days later, what's left of your body will never be identified or found two days later. Oops. I was doomed. So we melted ourselves. We'll probably be okay. Body melted. Cause of death. Body melted. Good. Boom.
Something evil? What's that? The uh, the thing that follows you, or is that one of the story backgrounds you can do? That's what it's like drinking Doctor Diet Pepper, basically. The following thing, I've actually never gotten to the end of it. Still have to do that one. Where is it? There he is. I don't think I've done this one yet, have I? Unlocks Witness Curse. I don't know. Still have to do the blue gem. I have no idea what that is. Equip Carpenter Helmer. Spell evil and regeneration learned? Why is that something? Movie reference? Oh, I didn't see these. I guess I've done that, though. One during his stature. Burn down the school building. Unlocks leather outfit. What the f oh, from the mermaid. I gotta get some of these. I don't wanna do that either. Oh. Alright, I'm probably gonna wrap it up for there. For there. For now. As you can tell. I'm kinda tired. I'm gonna go to sleep, I think, and chill out. I'll probably be back tomorrow or something like that. Hope you guys all have a good rest of your day. Don't forget about the uh, YouTube channel and stuff. I'm going to try to upload something there soon. And the VOD channel is always good. All right, I'm going to get out of here, everybody. I'll see you soon. Take it easy. Thanks for watching. More games soon. games soon.